From the unbelievable moment a man in Alaska literally outruns an avalanche, and a death-defying mountain bike race in France that was basically over before it began, to a daring prison escape in Quebec that looks more like a scene from a James Bond movie, and a Canadian train enthusiast recording what looks like the Polar Express careening through a blizzard. Here are 10 more moments you wouldn't believe if not filmed. On March 17th of 2013, Benjamin Udon Barbeau and Danny Provencal decided to stage the most daring prison break ever caught on camera. Both were convicted felons serving time at St. Jerome Prison in Quebec, Canada. Ben was in for murder, Danny was in for arson. It began when their partners, 23-year-old Stephen Marchisio and another man, hijacked a helicopter and forced the pilot to land on the roof. They lowered a rope to Ben and Danny in the yard, and both inmates began scaling the roof like James Bond. Security cameras from around the yard capture the men as they scale the three-story prison. They almost make it, but they can't pull themselves up and over. It probably doesn't help that their partner keeps waving a pistol at them. The helicopter tries taking off and hoisting both men onto the roof, but the frightened pilot can't hold her steady. One of the prisoners almost makes it, but eventually slides back down the rope. After several more attempts and a few heated arguments, they finally abandon Plan B climbing. Here's where they audible Plan C. Apparently, that involved the helicopter carrying them away like 007 escaping from behind enemy lines. As bad as their early attempts were, you have to credit them for holding on to the rope. But their efforts were in vain as police caught up with them a few hours later. Welcome to the Mountain of Hell, an annual downhill mountain bike race held in the resort town of Les Deux Alpes, France. The race begins with over 1,000 riders cresting over the peak of an 11,000-foot snow-capped mountain. From there, it's a 15-mile race to the finish. Whoever gets there first wins. Riders gathered atop the mountain on July 2nd of 2019. You're not allowed to touch your bike until you hear the starting horn. Instead, the riders stand a few feet back, ready to sprint toward their rides as ACDC's Highway to Hell blasts over the loudspeakers. The starting horn blares, and the racers take off downhill. Then, about 40 seconds into the race, all hell breaks loose. The racers come flying down the hill at about 62 miles per hour. They approach the first turn, which forces everyone in front to slow down a bit. That causes a chain reaction, leading to one rider clipping another. They tumble end over end as about 800 other racers try to avoid the massive pileup. It looks like one of those horrifying videos of baby spiders hatching from a nest. Imagine being someone at the very top, excited to race down the mountain, only to see that waiting for you. As bad as it looks, nobody got seriously injured in the crash. According to Sports Illustrated, one guy slid down the glacier while another got tabletopped by incoming racers. Otherwise, most riders got back on their bikes and finished the race. Uh, in case you were wondering, Killian Braun won the entire race after crossing the finish line in 31 minutes. Ha! Huh. 
Hope is a small community of about 200 people in southern Alaska. Even though they're right beneath Anchorage, it takes about two hours to drive into the city. So, when teenagers don't feel like driving to the capital, they find other ways to entertain themselves. The expansive, frozen terrain around Hope makes for some world-class snowmobiling. On November 5th of 2019, a local teen and his buddies were riding their snowmobiles when one of them drove over a loose patch of snow. What happened next sent one of the boys running for his life. Our rider watches his friend ride away when a large patch of snow comes loose and starts rolling down the hill. Thanks to his helmet cam, we get a first-person view as he sprints away from the incoming avalanche. He looks back a few times to see how far away he is. On the third look, he notices the avalanche has gotten much bigger. After about 30 seconds, he finally stops running as his buddy rides back around. All he can do is collapse and be thankful he is alive. We can't imagine what was going through his head as he ran away from the avalanche. At what point do you look back and think, okay, now's a good time to stop running? The Canadian National Railway is a 20,000-mile track stretching across Canada and down to New Orleans, Louisiana. During that journey, it passes through Salisbury, New Brunswick, a small town known for fox farming during the early 20th century. In February of 2015, a massive winter storm covered the entire town in thick snow. A local train enthusiast named Darren Gordon was on break from his job at the Homestead restaurant when he saw the Polar Express coming down the tracks. It takes a lot to stop a moving train. We'd say this snowstorm came pretty close. The train rips across the snow-covered tracks, creating a massive snow tsunami that blocks out the lead car. It almost looks like some massive underground worm monster is tearing across the Canadian backcountry. The conductor rings the bell to warn everyone about the incoming train, but Darren doesn't take the hint. He absorbs a massive snow wave as the train crashes through the frozen embankment. Darren's video racked up millions of views in just a few days. He admits to standing a little too close, but he couldn't afford to miss the money shot. He's a local train buff whose videos usually get about 100 views each. He saw this as the perfect opportunity to film something truly incredible, and maybe go a little viral. Hanzhong is a prefecture-level city in Shanxi Province, China. Like most of China, Hanzhong is highly susceptible to heavy rainfall and frequent landslides. Both were on full display between January and September of 2021. 
On September 18th, months of torrential rain culminated in a massive landslide that blocked a major highway and an entire river. Footage from around the city shows how scary these kinds of events can be. Multiple angles show the massive landslide barreling down the mountain. Trees tumble end over end, and the sound is just as scary as the sight. One person records from their car as debris splashes into the river below. But the debris quickly fills the water and shoots onto the bridge like a cannon. Aftermath footage shows us a barren, muddy mountainside. Remember, it was full of green trees and lush vegetation not too long ago. According to local reports, only two people got hurt during the landslide. One man broke his leg and was taken to the hospital. Another man got trapped under some debris, but rescue workers got them out safely. Nobody likes driving behind a truck full of stuff. We all have this irrational fear of something flying off the back and crashing through our windshield. But you only ever see that in Final Destination, right? Well, on June 16th of 2019, a driver in Foshanxi, China learned it's a little more common than you think. While driving along the Guangshen Expressway, their dash cam caught pure nightmare fuel on camera. They're driving along and everything seems fine. The weather is nice, the radio's going, and then, whack! Out of nowhere, an iron bar flies through the air and spears their windshield. Somehow, our driver stays calm and pulls off to the side of the road. In slow motion, we see the iron bar tumbling toward the car before it crashes through. Looks like it came off a truck further down the road. We're sorry in advance if this stat raises your anxiety levels. According to the American Automobile Association, more than 200,000 crashes were caused between 2011 and 2014 by items falling off of other vehicles. Hopefully, those numbers have improved since then. On February 22nd of 2019, in the small town of Gardiner, New York, a family decided to throw a winter party in their backyard. There wasn't much snow, but a thick ice sheet covered their above-ground pool. Armed with a beer and a shovel, he hacked away at the pool while he stood atop the ice sheet. Move over, Jack Sparrow. There's a new pirate in town. Someone records from the porch as our drunken homeowner hammers, well, shovels away at the pool. The wall gives away after a few good whacks, and he rides the ice sheet out of the pool and into the backyard. All that's missing is the Pirates of the Caribbean theme song. Maybe he thought the entire pool was frozen. It looks like water starts flooding the shed, which we doubt he planned. 
We can safely assume our homeowner is a Larry the Cable Guy fan since get her done was the first phrase out of his mouth after I saved the beer too. On the Portuguese island of São Miguel, or St. Michael Island, dock workers watched as a massive barge crane hoisted a smaller yet still pretty big mobile crane up and onto a boat. From here on out, we'll refer to the small crane as the load. The workers start hearing snapping sounds from somewhere along the steel cables. The load begins swinging back and forth as it's not making much vertical progress. Then their worst nightmare comes true. The cable snaps and the load rolls over before falling straight to the ground. Our dock workers run for cover as dust fills the air. They're probably more scared of the entire barge crane falling down. The cables start swinging around and crashing into the load. While it looks like they're moving slowly, they'd probably pack a mean punch if you were standing too close. Smaller barge cranes can lift between 50 and 500 tons, while bigger ones can lift between 1,000 and 1,500 tons. The load was definitely within the weight range, so we blame this accident on faulty steel cables. Thankfully, nobody got hurt when the load fell, but they'll certainly have some explaining to do. Astana is the capital city of Kazakhstan and the second coldest capital city in the world. You probably don't picture whiteout blizzards when you think of countries that end in Stan, but the average winter temperature in this region can drop to minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit. On January 11th of 2018, a massive winter storm shut down the capital. The only people allowed to keep working were emergency service personnel, and boy were they busy. Over 3,000 calls came in about cars stranded out on the highways. Footage from one of the drivers shows us how bad the storm really was. Our driver can barely see 10 feet ahead of them. Cars look like they've been abandoned during an apocalyptic winter. And as if things couldn't get any worse, our driver's engine is a solid block of ice. He pops the hood on his Mercedes, and we see the engine covered in snow. We assume singing is this guy's way of coping with stress. Take this video as a learning experience. Always make sure your engine is full of antifreeze. Even then, the entire thing can freeze over if the temperature drops below minus 36 Fahrenheit, which isn't uncommon in places like Astana. Clearwater is a coastal city in western Florida, a few miles north of Tampa and St. Petersburg. On June 25th of 2022, seven locals were enjoying some time on the water when a random storm formed overhead. Lightning struck all around them, and the boaters tried making a mad dash back to shore. Then, the inevitable happened. A lightning bolt strikes the boat, causing our camera person to jump and a woman to scream. Josh Guy, one of the male passengers, felt the bolt pass through him, and he passed out for a few minutes. Thankfully, they could send an emergency signal, and the Coast Guard arrived via helicopter to rescue them. You can see the moment they're airlifted into the helicopter. Definitely not how they thought their day would end up going. 
While speaking with reporters, Josh stressed the importance of having an emergency position indicating radio beacon or an EPIRB device. When activated, it sends an emergency signal to the Coast Guard, letting them know where you are. Had it not been for their emergency signal, they would have been stranded a hundred miles from shore. Maybe someone would have seen them eventually. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.